So here we have on the board a magnetic field coming out of the board. How do I know it's coming out of the board? Because I've drawn a circle and a dot, which signifies the tip of the arrow coming at you. Now, if it was going into the board, I would have drawn an X like this. Okay. So we have a magnetic field pointing this way. And now, let's take a uh, positively charged particle, like a proton, for example, and let's send it into this magnetic field. Okay. What's going to happen? Well, we use the Lorentz force. And this is the Lorentz force. This x right here signifies that it's a cross product. We get the direction from the right-hand rule and the magnitude from this formula right here. And sine theta, where this is the angle between the two. Now, here we have it coming at a right angle. I mean, magnetic field's going this way, proton's going that way. That's a right angle. Sine of 90 degrees is 1. So for our situation, it's simply this. That's the magnitude of the force that will act on the particle as it enters the magnetic field. Now, what direction will it turn? That's given by the right-hand rule. And it works like this. We take our finger, index finger for the direction of the particle. Fingers point to the direction of the magnetic field. And therefore, the force is upward. So what's going to happen is, as the particle enters, and let me try drawing a little straighter line here, it'll come in, and then the force is upward, so it twists upward. Now, if instead of a proton, this was an electron, which is negatively charged, well, then it's just the opposite. It'll twist downward, like that. Now, if the magnetic field is strong enough, or I should say the charged particle is, has a large enough charge, or if it's going fast enough, the force is, is larger. And what you'll see is that it curves into a circle. And at every point, the force points towards the center of the circle. Because when it's going down, then you have right-hand rule, magnetic field pointing out. But it's a negatively charged particle, so we flip it. And boom, the force is going into the circle. And you can follow the circle all the way around, and you'll see that the force is always pointing into the circle. Good. That is, by definition, a centripetal force. So we can say that this force of magnetism is equal to mass times the centripetal acceleration, which is v squared over r. And we know the magnitude of this force. It's Q, V, B, and so that equals M, V squared, divided by the radius of this circle. And we can cancel guy here, cancel guy there. And we can then solve for the radius of the circle by doing a little bit of algebra. And you would get M, V divided by Q, B. So plug in the mass of the particle, the speed that the particle is going at, its charge, the magnitude of the magnetic field, and boom, you get the radius of this circle. So that's the physics of what's going on. In the next video, I'll show you a little demonstration.